Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you about the categories and app blocker features. Categories are large groups of domains that can be blocked with a single click. Let's say you need to block all social networks. To do that, you need to go to the tab Categories, scroll down to the Time Wasters section, and click on the category Social Networks so the lock icon becomes gray. Don't forget to click on the Save Changes button at the top so that all the changes will be saved. To unblock the social networks category back, click on the lock icon again so it becomes orange. Again, don't forget to save the changes. To block or unblock the whole section, click on the lock icon near its name. Now all the categories included in this section are blocked. Once again, don't forget to save the changes. Please keep in mind that making any changes on the dashboard usually takes about 5 or 7 minutes to be applied due to DNS cache. Domains in the categories have a lower priority than in allow list and deny list. This means that the domain in the allow list will always stay unblocked even if its category is being blocked. Same with a domain in the deny list. It will always be blocked even if its category is being unblocked. In addition to the categories, we have a feature called App Blocker, which allows you to block a certain app or ecosystem without blocking the whole category. The process is the same. Go to the tab App Blocker, click on the app or ecosystem name so the lock becomes gray. Then click on the Save Changes button. To block or unblock the whole section, click on the lock icon near its name. Do not forget to save the changes. Let's take a look at what we have here. As you can see, you can choose the filtering policy you want to configure. The main option of the app blocker is to block or unblock a certain ecosystem or app. We have cybersecurity, ecosystem applications, file sharing, financial, mails, and many more. Domains in the app blocker have a priority over categories. This means that blocked apps will always stay blocked even if its category is unblocked. If you want to suggest an app for the app blocker, click the Feedback button at the top. And talking about categories, please remember you can always check a domain's category at the bottom of the page. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.